What is up, y'all? It is your boy Arsenal Man, and I feel as though God has just put it on my heart to um, provide a message to you guys today. And I was reading the book of Proverbs. Um, I have it with me right here. And I just want to go over a quick verse and something that it hit me pretty hard. So today we are in Proverbs. Proverbs, Proverbs 2, verses, verses 3 through 8. And it reads as, Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver, and if you search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and pro protects the way of his faithful ones. And man, <laughs> man, 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 he's, oh my gosh, this verse, man, it, it hit me. It hit me very hard. He stated, if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord. And me reading this, bro, I didn't quite understand it before because I've heard this verse before. I've heard this verse before and I didn't quite understand it. And until I started truly seeking the Lord and trying to build that relationship and speaking to him and praying to him and really going out to really find out who he is and see if seeing if that's someone that I wanted to follow. I didn't understand why people feared him and why people were scared and not feared in a bad way, but just why people followed him, you know, because I, I was living a, a life of worldly desires and until I really started understanding, like, this is who he is, this is what he does, the miracles he has, the miracles he makes, um, the good that he does for people. Um, I, I, I didn't understand when you when you follow the world, this happens, and when you really follow Jesus, this happens. Like, you feel me? And let's go back to another verse because it reads, For he guards the course of the just, and he protects the way of his faithful ones. And now, um, if you're watching this, I just want to say I am not a. I'm in the start of my journey and um, preaching the gospel and everything. So if there's anything I say that you don't agree with, um, let me know down below. We can talk about it. We can have a chat about it. But I'm still on my walk and I want to share that with you guys. And when he says. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. That is a beautiful thing. He's saying, if you walk with me, if you if you take the step with me, if you move, if you walk the path of me, I protect you. I got you. It's like it's like. It's like a little kid in his in his pops. They walk in, you know what I'm saying? They don't gotta worry about nothing. They could just be a little, you know what I'm saying? A little NPC. And and God is like, I got you. You feel me? I got you, son. If you walk the path with me, I'll give you riches. I'll give you whatever you want. Wisdom. You know what I'm saying? What whatever. He says, God says, go to me and I'll give you everything from the world in return. And the problem with people is they go to the world and they try to get the things from the world when certain things from the world might not be what you need. Mm. <laughs> mm, there we go. There we go. Because God, not only does he give you what you want sometimes, God always gives you what you need, man. And when you go to the world and you say, ah, oh, I want this from the world and I want that from the world and I want this and I want that and I want that and I want that. This and that and that and that might not be what you need. It might be bad for you. It might be terrible for you. But you go into the world, oh my gosh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And I want to I wanna live this type of life. And I want to do this. And oh my gosh, it doesn't matter. When 
you start finally seeing the drawbacks and seeing the bad side of, of what you thought you wanted. But God already knows that. So he wants to he wants to help you avoid those things. So make sure you walk in the path of God. Make sure you follow the path of Jesus because he is the only one. He is the righteous one. Amen. Amen, man. And like I said, like I said, I am not a professional at this. This is something that I am constantly working on. I'm constantly working towards. And I just want to share my faith with you guys because although my understanding of even right now, Proverbs 2, verse 3 through um 8, even though my understanding might not be perfect, I just want to share, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, sorry, y'all. But even though my understanding of it might not be perfect, it might not be the exact correct definition, I still want to put that out because I know there are other followers watching this. I know y'all are watching this saying, hey, this is my understanding or or this is this is the, the correct understanding, you know? So I kind of want to bounce off each other and see what, see exactly what um you guys think. Um, there was there was another part. Okay, verse verse six it reads, "For the Lord gives wisdom; from His mouth come knowledge and understanding." And that is a bar, gentlemen. That is a bar. And when I say Go to the Lord and he'll give you things in return. When I tell you, I was just outside sitting there saying, God, um, please just give me wisdom and place something on my heart. Give me the confidence to speak up and really share your word. And I, this was, this was honestly, let me, let me rewind. This was before I even went outside. I was sitting there praying. I was, I was like, yo, God, like, I, I don't really know where to look. I'm a little lost. I need direction. And I was actually on my phone um, after. I went on my phone after. And I picked it up. I went on, um, like, TikTok. The first thing that pops up is it's this young lady sharing her story on how the world is coming to an end and the, the water is, like, is going to be filled. And it, it was, like, her on a pole and she's standing and she's like the only one alive and the rest of America is cooked and how that, that was happening around the rest of the world. And for one, that showed me God's wrath because that's going to happen. Like God's wrath, he's going to come down, he's going to rain down and the people who are unjust, you know. But yeah, I saw that. The, right, the very next one, it was a TikTok speaking of Proverbs, right? And a lot of the stuff I've been reading has been just the Gospels. Um, Mark, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Come on, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like I said, I'm still a baby in this. That's why, I, that's why, you know what I'm saying? It's a little. But, um, yeah, I was, reading, I was reading those, and this video, it says, yo, Proverbs, it's, it's a really good way to find out how to be not only a man of God, but a woman of God, and it kind of teaches you what to do and what not to do and, and how to align things, right? So I was like, okay, let's, you know, let, let's go outside. Let's pray. Um, I texted my mom. I said, good morning, mom. You know, I hope you have a great day. God bless you, everything. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to show love to my mom, pray for her and everything. So I'm praying, and I open Proverbs, and I start reading it. And these verses right here, um, one of the first verses I read, and like I said, it hit me, bro, because I was, I was living in a world, and I was such a, a worldly young man. And just seeing the difference in how God tells you to, wait, what did it say? 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 It said, I want the exact line, the exact line, because it speaks on not following sinful men. And that's something that I've been battling for, like, the longest time, bro. I would always... If my friends were doing something or people I saw as my friends were doing something, my peers or whatever, I would, okay, let's do it. Let's do it, you know, because I want to be friends with them. And I want to be, you know, part of the group and everything. And for the last couple months and walking in my journey, I've distanced myself, right? If, if y'all doing something that I don't agree with, it's not impersonal, but that's not the, the path I want to walk, right? That's not the thing that I want to do. If people around me want to drink, you can drink. I personally don't like drinking. I don't, I don't drink. If you want to smoke, 
Y'all got that. I don't want to be around. I don't want to smoke. Y'all got it, right? If people are doing lustful things with girls and I want to be a husband and I want to wait till marriage with the next lady I find, I don't even want to. I'm cool. I don't want to be a, these, these lustful. God says, God says, he does He says, avoid evil. Avoid the evil. So you don't even have to be tempted. So I don't even want to be around that, right? And in this verse, it is verse, it is one, verse one, nine, or 10 through 12. He says, my son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. If they say, come along with us, let's lie and wait for innocent blood. Let's ambush some harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave in the hole, like those who go down to the pit. And that's just speaking of like, um, if these gentlemen want to steal and, and harm someone and do all these things, that doesn't mean you go do it just because you want to fit in. And on like a smaller scale, if people around me want to smoke, drink, have sex and do all these things and I don't, then I shouldn't do it. And that verse, bro, it hit me hard because that's something I was battling for the longest time. I would travel home. And I kind of fall back into the ways. I'd be tempted. You know, I'd, oh, let, frick it. Let's do it, right? Let's have fun. And as I've gotten stronger in my faith and I've chased God and gotten closer to God, it's like, it don't even bother me no more. Like saying no, saying I'm cool, telling them don't even ask me. Don't even ask me. I don't even want to, bro. I'm cool. Don't even, now having that respect of like, don't ask me. Don't even, don't even put that out there. I, you know I don't. You know I don't. Because when people ask you, they're thinking you're going to eventually um, fall back or like change on your word right like oh if i ask this person uh the next time they'll say yeah so i'm just gonna ask them right and i'm i'm so i feel so connected to to the lord it's like i feel disrespected if you even ask me that if i told you the first time don't ask me again you feel me and this is this is a this is a spot that i had to work up to and like i said if there's anything any comments y'all want to make i would appreciate it um I do love making these videos. It, it helps me get stronger with my faith, bro. It helps me truly chase the Lord. And if I don't have a understanding on something, it helps me understand it. You know, I'm always chasing wisdom. I'm always chasing the Lord, especially. And on that note, I don't think there's um, anything else I have for y'all. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still walking, bro. I'm still walking the right, the, the righteous path. So um, I love y'all. Um, God loves y'all more, man. And uh, on that note, yeah, y'all have a good one. Y'all have a good day. Drop a comment below if you have anything to say. Um, and let me know if y'all want to see more types of videos like this. Um, I'm going to be going through Proverbs. I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm trying to lock in. I'm, I'm truly trying to lock in. So I'm going to be going through Proverbs. And yeah, y'all probably going to get more videos on Proverbs. And if there's other verses or other, um, other books y'all want me to read, like within the Bible. Let me know. I love y'all, man. God loves y'all more. Peace out.